What's going on my knights? Welcome back to our Survival Evolve. So, as you can tell by my get up, actually I should put in an orbit camera, I am dressed for the snow and that is exactly where we're going. Also, I dyed my hair purple. So I kind of look like a little Uzi right now, but let's just skip over that part. We're gonna be heading to the north and the reason why we're heading to the north is because I want some wolves. And that's one of my uh, kind of goals before I leave the series. I'm pretty sure we can catch some artifacts, but I want some wolves first. Also, I, if, as you can see right there, we have power. Our, um, what's it called? Our fridge all set up and I am getting ready to move my squad, I have my otter on my neck, so we should be fine when it comes to being cold and you know warm and all that crap. So I have my otter, I have a uh, okay like kind of uh, like amount of food. Now there are two reasons why I want to go up north. I want some wolves, but not only that, eventually I'll need a Uranus and like a Deodon to kind of stand my ground during the fights uh, I'm not gonna bring my t-rex with me actually we're gonna head up to the north and I want to see if I can try and tame um, at least two wolves I'm gonna leave them up in the north for now actually now nah, okay now we're gonna head to the north we're going to get our wolves and then we're going to head back. And if we do have time today, I want to try and tame a Spino. Um, I'm really nervous about that fact that I'm going to try and tame a Spino. I'm going to have an escort of three birds with me. Just just because I'll have at least three um, on standby. Actually, you are a weak level 30. I'm going to get my level 52 with me so we can, uh, you know, survive this trip. This is our most dangerous trip yet, and hopefully we don't lose nobody there in this. So, to all my children, um, I'll give a final message. It's been fun knowing you all. We are heading off to the north. I'll see you in the next year or so <laughs> um so i don't know where we're gonna find the north i did see uteranus if we go like i think up the west coast up to the north there's a uteranus there and it's got and it's surrounded by megatheriums which i heard megatheriums are actually really good f i think for like getting shit i mean chitin not chitin i don't want to start a comment i don't want to start war in the comment section for calling it wrong so i'm gonna just call it chitin so they're really good at collecting that and the Uranus buffs dinosaurs, Deodons live up there, they also give buffs and crap. So the north got a lot of dinosaurs that can do buffs. Also got a Bronto, so I really don't have a need for a Mammoth. I will tame a Rhino though, I just want a Rhino. I don't know why I want a Rhino, I want a Rhino. So we're gonna go up there and with the power of editing magic, I will be there in like 20 seconds or so or like half a millisecond so guys actually coming around here i know there was one area and i think it was this area that has oh there's an alpha raptor i thought it had a t-rex and i kind of wanted to see if the t-rex was still here uh like i said after i caught that first t-rex i kind of been on a little bit of a para trip Trying to catch things. I also caught a level like 60 Megalodon and it I guess got aggroed and left. So that happened. But I swear there was a T-Rex somewhere on this beach. And I kinda wanna tame it. I wanna see if it if it's still here, we'll come back one day and try and try to tame it. But um maybe on our way back if we survive and make it back we'll try and take that uh, alpha raptor down because that will give us a lot of levels and as you can see right there in the right corner we are very very close to reaching level 100 which i believe is the max survivor level and um i'm a little bit i'm a little bit nervous 
about you know reaching that level because i want to know like what will i i think that's as much as i can level up so it's kind of like what will i spend my last Instagram point on or what is the last thing that i'll like you know learn so it's kind of it's a big moment but it's a little bit scary because like i need to i need to you know put it in the right area also a lot of the resources have been respawning and usually for some reason the resources don't respawn and now they're just respawning like crazy around my base and think that would mean either a there are probably more dinosaurs again and all the dinosaurs that I wiped out might respawn and B we can actually go to herbivore island and get metal again which is actually going to be very 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 exciting for me it's because I haven't been to that island unless when it came to get getting that Bronto because I don't know if I caught him in earlier episodes but the Bronto that's been on that island for like ever since I you know wiped out the entire population pretty much that's the uh, last surviving dinosaur on that island. Why did the battle music start to play? Was it because I was near that seagull? I hate them things. Yeah, like I said, that was the last surviving dinosaur on that island. And I uh, kind of wanted to take it in. So I took it. And that thing harvests berries like there's no tomorrow. I pretty much retired my trike. Like, Bart has been retired, the trike has been retired, the, uh, parasit, wherever the crap is, the long thing, the long weird skin thing that I have at the house, that thing has been retired as well, because it's just been pretty much put to rest by my Bronto. And the T-Rex kind of, once I get myself a Rex army, it'll pretty much put all the raptors to rest. So, like, we're slowly upgrading, and upgrading as, like, fastly as possible. And if I'm able to successfully catch this either rant, actually, I need to be careful because I know it's got a, I think it has a debuff. And I know one of the dinosaurs in this game, when it yells, it makes your character, like your bird, like go out of control. Like wherever you're on, it makes it go crazy. And I don't, I don't know which one it is, which is kind of terrifying me because I don't know what it is. The heck is that? Is that a over raptor or is that a trudon? Cause if it's a trudon, I don't think I should be able to see it, but I don't think it should be able to move that fast. Why am I getting off topic? Okay. Um Oh, there it goes to the north. So this was the area I was talking about. So up there there should be Uteranus. And I just noticed the um, you are hot thing is now missing, which kind of, you know, cements in my head that we are officially in the cold areas of the Ark. I think I should build a base around here. I just got to be really cautious is because like over there where those stegos are at, there have been like a lot of hyenodons and oh, speak of the loving devil, we have... Oh, we have a big fight right now. So it's going to be like three Stegos against a few Carnos. I'm just walking with my gang of birds. We're just going to kind of observe what's going on here. Those are some beautiful Carnos. And one Carno is down. So I think this next one. This next one should be easy. Yep. Oh, the poor thing's got bleeding on it. And I think there was a, I thought there was a Dodicarus here. Uh, apparently the Dodicarus is... Well, I do, I remember, I think what the new Dodicarus had in my house, I think that was the Dodicarus I captured from there. Anyway, we're finally in the snow area. Now, <laughs> we're gonna play this a little bit safe. Cause if the Uteranus is still there, it has some Carnos. And, um... Even though I can fight off Carnos, Carnos do bleeding damage, and it usually has like a few Carnos with it. Yep. There, there it goes. Okay, let's check the level. That's a level 48. Now, my levels on this island are never high. So level 48, that is surprisingly 
very high. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, is that Dayadon? That's Dayadon. Also, when I was up here, I got chased by a pack of wolves, and they didn't stop, and I couldn't regain stamina, so I had to climb up on the mountain, and I nearly died because I just got chased down by them. Now, we okay? We're doing we're doing okay in the in the snow so far. So I'm going to observe the land. Let's kill this guy. I have not been able to find any wolves at this area, which usually there are war wolves. There is a megatherium there, which I think should be something I should try and go for. Oh, there is a wolf pack. <laughs> okay, Let, let's let's find the highest. Let's find the leader. Pretty sure the leader will be the one by itself. Okay, now y'all guys are. Obscuring my view. Go sit. Make sure they actually. Oh my god, my birds are stupid. Okay. Okay, they are attacking. Oh, uh, woolly rhinoceros. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Are they attacking that bird? These things are freaking vicious. Over five? Oh, it was... okay. It's them being in the gang. That that's what's that's what's giving them the ability to start killing all these high level creatures and things that used to be a pain in my behind. It's because they gang up on people. Okay. So I'm pretty sure if I take one out, I mean I, I think they'll follow me, which I don't. I, I kind of don't need that right now. I don't need them following me. Where the heck did they go? Oh, so it's a level 22. Okay. Huh. That's... I think I'm gonna be on the ground. I'm trying to observe it. I took a shot. Okay. It's time for a trip, buddy. So they, I wanna see how far they aggro. Kinda like how fast they can, uh, keep up with us okay pretty fast they're not really good oh the one with the red glow that's the one that I need the one that ever that is red means that's the leader and the leader is always the strongest so I need to tame the leader or kill it in an attempt to uh okay I can't really see right now Cause all y'all keep blocking me. So I'm gonna need y'all to go land somewhere. Cause they, they want, oh no, they just completely, they completely left. Clearly I'm not good enough for you, you just dirtbag. So. Makes me feel inadequate and just sitting there and I get ignored. There he goes. A level 22. Now, which one of y'all are the strongest females to bear the 22 wolf's child? Okay. Uh, 22, 20, that's an 8. Um, 5, 3... Are y'all really that pitiful? The one I have, the strongest, the second strongest of y'all is a level eight. So guys, instead of using the shocking tranquilizer darts, I'm gonna just use the normal ones. Cause um, if it's a level 22, I'm pretty sure I can knock it out near darn instantly. So it's not gonna be really, a uh, really hard challenge. 
Huh. It's a Uranus right there. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh pray this guy's a low level, because maybe we might be able to take it on, maybe? Or am I am I trying to bite off more than I can chew? I think I'm buying off more than I can like wholeheartedly like I can honestly chew. It's a level twenty-two. Oh, what is that up there? Oh, it's a mega. Okay, I'm gonna just hope that it fights with those mammoths and the mammoths kill some of those carnos. Cause um, yeah, we're not taking that down with that many carnos near it. Okay, I I don't know if they ride around in packs, and if they do. That's going to be a little bit bad for us. Although, I could always go to the top of the mountain. Alright, guys. I learned something cool. You can actually add torches to the back of our birds. I feel extremely happy about this. Because, uh... I can now, you know, kind of observe what's going on. Oh, I thought he was about the war. I thought he was about the freaking war, and I was going to see what the heck it does and see him go to town on some mammoth meat. Let me rephrase that. It's now became day. Now, I think it's the perfect time to try. Yep, the noise. I think now is the perfect time to... I guess try and get this day add on. I don't know how well this will go. Now, I don't know. I think the day add ons are meat eaters, and we have plenty of meat. We actually have a piece of prime meat on us. So, let's pray to God this puppy's slow. Okay. Upwards. Oh, it has buffs. That's. Oh, why is it? What is it doing? Why are you? Where's the black one? No, I've been cheated out of my deal. This is um. Okay, no. there goes the black one I was shooting. That sounds so raw. Oh God. <laughs> I just heard myself say that out loud. The the amount of wrongness that is in there. There we go. Right there. It should pass out. Oh, these are. You are really thirsty. That's like four of them. It really taint four whole. It taint four whole tranquilizers. My that T Rex I was was shooting at it. That the guy only took a few. What the heck? There's a UD up there. A UD up there and a UD down there. What the heck? What in the legitimate heck? I just got on the ARC wiki and it said these guys are like rare in this area. And there's like 12 of them. It's like, I mean, there's three of them, but like at this point, just call it 12 for the amount that they are. And it's a level 18. They're getting shorter and shorter. I think this God sign telling me that I should try and catch that you that Uranus. Because I'm not going to try and get the high level one. As stupid as that sounds, I don't really. I can I can level it up. I can level it up. It's a fixer upper. If we can put time in it, and it's moving this way, and it's moving this way, menacingly, so menacingly. Oh God, this is a Jesus.
I think. I don't know if this is a time to run or a time to embrace in the, in the action. I'm going to get my thing prepared. Um, I'm going I'm to get up. I'm going to get high in the air so I can... It really... Um. Okay, guys. Buddy. Oh, y'all, time to go. Head into the skies. Head into the skies. They're coming this way. Oh, no. I don't even think I could. I mean, I could try and tame the black one, but I find it a little bit risky since UD is right there. And there's a Uteranus up this hill if it's still there, which... I mean, yep, it's right up that hill. And there's a Uteranus right down there. So, there's different ways I can approach this. Now, like, value, from a value standpoint, this thing is about to rush me, by the way. From a value standpoint, I would take the Uteranus in a heartbeat. But the thing is, it's so hard to tame and keep under control. And the, re and the reason why I mean keep under control is because it's surrounded by all those, car all those carnos. So I feel like when I hit it, it's going to, you know, get eight. And, you know, being digested in the stomach of a another dinosaur is never usually a good thing when you're trying to own something. It's like a dog. It's never, you don't, a dog is not useful when it's in the stomach of another dog, you know. That's how the old saying goes. So... I think, I don't know, I don't want this to be an unsuccessful mission. I kind of want to come here and, you know, wreck everybody up, mess everything up, and screw everyone over. But, like, we are kind of in the battle we can't win. I got three birds, but I'm not really... I don't really know the strength of my birds. I'm not, I haven't really put them to the test. And there have been many, many close calls with like creatures that shouldn't really and like bring them any trouble, pretty much. There have been many close, what in God? What level is that? Level 18. I want this note. I couldn't grab the note. I don't, I don't know about this. I don't. Oh, it's an artifact. The artifact note is me trying to catch a Uteranus more than I could chew. Like, we've only just caught a T Rex, and the reason why I'm scared of the Uteranus is not the Uteranus alone, it's kind of the fact of the power that it holds. Like, it can have these carnos with it, and like, the you know, more, more danger is you know never good and the fact that it can summon these carnos to its will pretty much and the fact that I just lost a 20 foot tall dinosaur where the heck did it go I gotta stay up high cause I don't know how good that roar is and I don't know how how you know like, I don't know how many dinosaurs we can bring. I don't know how good this chasing thing is. I don't know the stamina. I don't know the distance that it aggros people on. So I think we're going to try and explore the other part of the cold. The cold winds, the Icelands. We're going to explore the other part of Iceland. And, uh try and find something I just can't deal with these Uteranus these guys are 
They're paying my butt, mostly for the fact, like I said, they can call on the Carnos, and I can't, like, I can't die here, because these are, like, my three best flyers, and all that crap, and this has all my good stuff, and, you know, dinosaurs in this game don't really move. Case in point by that stupid dinosaur right there. He can barely move, because he doesn't know how to. Now this is kind of unknown territory for me. I don't think I've really been on this side of the Arctic, I want to say. I haven't been really in this area like that. Oh, there's some wolves. There goes the Nariyutaranus. I can already see it in the corner of my... go up high yay let's just go up higher and higher and higher and then check this baby's level level six is getting they're getting weaker this makes me kind of just want to root for a level one while we at it and there were some wolves up here so i could try and shoot it but i gotta make sure the wolves don't get in my way and if they get in my way we might be dead, and by might, I mean we will die. We'll, we'll die a gruesome and horrible death. And that's no ants, no ifs, no buts about it. Like, I'm being... I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. We're gonna die if I botch this. You know, it's like a surgery. My life will never change if it's, if it's botched. So I'm gonna have... Y'all really think I should do this? Y'all really think I should do this? Y'all want good content. I want good content. And you know, you only live once. So, YOLO. <laughs> I can't even see it. I'm a little bit scared because I don't know how this mountain is. I don't know if it's going to be like completely solid ground or if some of it is just like, um, what would the term be? I don't know what the term is. I'm going to just call it joke ground. Is what I'm gonna call it. And the reason why, I, what I mean by joke ground is like, um, ground that isn't really in the game. It's just there to make the game look good. So, you know, things don't seem off when you're, um, when you're trying to play. And like I said, I don't know its little aggro range. So, I don't wanna be too close to it. Okay, we didn't hit it. Yeah. I'm gonna check the wiki real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, my nerves. You know, there's two ways, buddy, this can go. We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. There's two ways this can go, and I really love doing it the hard way on people. Don't take that out of context. We're gonna equip our torch on him. We're gonna make sure that we are prepared for this. Now, I don't really know how powerful, um, what are they called, Uteranuses are. The UD, I don't know how strong it is. I can only assume it's extremely strong for the fact that's like a fluffy T-Rex. And whatever... Sabertooth. Go upwards, Sabertooth. I did not see that. Make sure that I eventually get that. I need to make sure everything is safe. Uh, I need to make... Like I said, I need to make sure the area is clear. And the thing is, in Ark, I don't use traps. Which kind of make me feel like I'm better than everybody. Well, I'm really not. I'm like really stupid compared to any other person who ever played Ark in their entire life. Like, in my opinion, use traps whenever you can. Because traps always help you. 
like they're very difficult to kind of construct depending on what situation you are you are in but like i honestly believe that we should start putting our trust in some traps and i need to put my investment funds and resources in the traps because you know the Uteran is so far it's like the most difficult thing for me to tame but you know like putting my crap in traps it kind of i think it will guarantee most of the time i'm sorry my brain is having the brain fart while they're doing with a saber tooth tiger oh i can't see i can see it but i can't see it in the same breath now here's the thing i don't know i won't wait until day to try and get it because i don't know what can dislodge him and if I just lodge it, I don't know if I'll be able to survive that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna wait until it becomes day again. I know it's gonna, I know it's a little bit repetitive, but like you, um, if you, if I had my webcam on, you would be able to see that I have goosebumps on my arms, and I'm a little, little wee bit nervous. I don't know why I'm this nervous. And the reason why I think I'm scared and nervous is because I don't want to die. Because it'll set me so far back. Because, like, I've gotten so far and I, you know, like, I've got, I've got, <laughs> I'm very cocky right now. You know, what? I'm very cocky because I could have waited off. I feel like, because there was a nerd T-Rex and there was a Spinal that I could have caught. Level 5s, level 1. It was a level 5 Spinal, level 1 T-Rex, female, boom breathing time well it's lovecraft all over there you know it's beautiful happiness and everyone's just making babies and we have an army we'll be set we'll be fine but dang is i need me uranus and i need me a deodon and i probably need like two of them so it'll be like um it'll be i think my brain i'm having a brain fart right now I'll probably just have three day of Maybe. I don't know. It'll be... I'm having another brain fart. I think 17, the two day dons, and then the one UD. So I need 17 Rexes. I don't even think there are that many Rexes on this island. To begin with. High level Rexes. Pretty sure that level 20. Highest level on... Come on, guys. It got dislodged. I was about to say, why aren't you following me? <laughs> oh, no. He's sitting there lost. Please. Oh, no. It's level A and 1. No. Please don't kill her. Oh, Jesus. Oh 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 God. Oh Messiah. Is he learning? Oh, it's louding. It got loud. I don't know if it's trying to come up here or if it's trying to bring Cardos to him or like. You see what I was talking about? Like, they get scared and then. I get scared because fear in this game equals death. <laughs> like, um, you know that scene in Black Panther where um, T'Challa says, I don't freeze. And then the um, girl says, like, you free. I think she was like an antelope in headlights. I'm like that. I'm the antelope right now. I'm free. I freeze. And it's no matter the circumstances. I'm always freezing. Like, I don't, I don't care what it is. I'm always, we can head upwards. I thought we might been able to get him. I don't think we can. Yeah, he's heading down to the forest. 
And I don't think I need to be heading down to the coast like that. Uh, dun 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 dun. This trip was a disaster. This trip is a disaster. I haven't found me a good team. Plus, I can't kill any freaking thing on this guy thing island because it spawns in groups. I don't know why the north has gangs. South, everyone travels in the south, everyone travels alone. In the north, everyone's just ganging up on people. I don't think we can get it. I don't even see the Uranus anymore. Like, I gotta try and tame up from afar. And I don't see it. And I can't see any sound waves transmitting, so... I think today's mission was a failure. It was a big, fat failure. Am I getting snow on me? Okay, no, I think it's just the lighting. Yeah. We couldn't catch one. It's very disappointing. I'm very disappointed in myself. But I feel like I made the right choice to value my team's life. And until I get like another bird or so, maybe in, like we get a bird game. And then we can start, you know, fighting big groups of these um, of animals. Like Uranuses, like in the groups and stuff. We'll get one. Before the boss battle, I can guarantee that. But I need, I need a win today. I need one. I need a win. I can't, you know, can't go off without having something good happen in this episode. So, with the remainder of these guys I have left, we need to try and obtain something. At least one thing. And who knows, we might tame something good, we might tame something bad. But I feel like maybe we should try and head back home and try and aim for that level 1 T-Rex. That's the only T-Rex I can find. It's the only T-Rex I have track of right now. So I don't really, I kind of don't know what happened. But the original, my original goal was kind of to get some wolves. We couldn't even accomplish that because it's hard to get wolves since they're all in packs. Now, there were some wolves down there. I think our best bet is to pick off people of the pack. Oh, level 52, level 81. What you doing? You're playing this game stupid, man. I think our best options are legitimately to kill the entire pack and then... Can that best child? Really, you're ruining my plan. I can't even see who the best child is if y'all won't even let me near y'all. Y'all are just all freaking selfish. All y'all think about is yourselves and your well-being, which clearly I don't care about. It's that red one, huh? Mr. Red Glow. Level 15. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and pick someone up. I want one of your babies. No. All oh, y'all follow me. I'm taking one. I am I need a win today. A dire wolf level three. Dang it. Highest was level fifteen and we lost it. You see, you see what happens when y'all don't listen to me? Y'all got into the line of danger, and then y'all nearly all got murdered. And then, I had to jump in, and I couldn't cooperate correctly because I couldn't pick up no freaking birds. 
I mean, any not birds, those freaking wolves. I want me a wolf, okay? I had that's the main goal. I didn't even want the Uranus. I want to come up here. I want to get wolves. I've been trying. To, I've been wanting to get wolves since the day I got the T Rex. That's been a few days. Ago. Duh. Um. Okay, that's a dirt, little dirt too. Uh, di dire wolf, you are realizing. You are walking towards your death, right? I think he realized that. And he should have counted his losses by the you know, by the time the by the time the bells chimed for the heaven gates. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Level thirteens, so level five and i think it said he's the pack leader but just to make sure i feel like the lone wolf would be the pack leader kind of since you know no one can touch him no one needs to be around him he's too elite but it seems the gray one i can kill you within an instant i don't gotta try i really don't Oh crap, they follow me all the way down there. Oh no. They're still up here. So, pack leader. I need to take him down a peg. And I don't think... I don't think y'all can stand much of a chance to me. I... What are you doing? What are you doing? Daddy leaves you alone for one minute and you kill people. See, John, this is why we can't have good things. Okay, nope. That's it. I'm taking you. I'm taking one of you tonight. I'm taking the white one. That's it. I'm taking your home, and you're gonna like it. Okay, fine, you selfish, ungrateful dirtbag. You know what? You know what, guys? I don't care. Kill them all. Kill them all. I don't care. I don't care no more. You know what? I'm giving up. I'm giving up on hope. Just like that little wolf should have done before I dropped him off in the snow winds. All these people want to do is just disrespect me. I come here trying to tame them and give them a new life. And you know what? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the disrespect here. None, none of these animals even care or know who I dare, who I dare be. I, I kill people for a living. I kill, I kill people and I eat them for breakfast. I mean, essentially I do. I actually do eat the people that I, that I killed. Okay, it's a female. That'll do, since I kind of want the male so I can start breeding. Because I find females a lot easier than I find males for some reason. Oh, no. In the air. Come on, guys. Can y'all stop? Just stop. For one minute. Like, I don't think y'all understand the the importance of just staying, okay? You stay there. The freaking bloody wolf is mine. Okay. And this, kids, is National Geographic. And by I mean graphic, I mean bloodshed graphic. I don't mean the channel. Okay. I didn't hit it, so we need to move a bit closer. I need to be near Icarus, because if I get attacked, they're going to aggro. Now, I could say I'm on passive. It's just that I don't want them on passive while I'm in the snow area. 
since snow is very dangerous and I don't want them to just be, you know, sitting defenseless ducks. I don't even know where the heck it went. Did I knock it out or it it, it ran away, you freaking two-faced idiot. I'm trying to give you a better life. I'm trying to help. I'm doing more good than I am doing harm. And I've been recording this episode for about like an hour trying to catch a Uranus or a freaking wolf. And I'm not leaving the snowlands without a wolf. I just want one. Stop recording. I want the vicious and murderous intents that come with a wolf. I want the companionship. I want a buddy and a pal. I just don't want it to be a bird and a freaking T-Rex. And I want somebody that if they disobey my orders, I could possibly turn them into a fur coat. So they have two different lives to live. And I feel like Ark thinks it's too much to... Buddy, I know, I know you don't want to be caught. I know these needles seem just a tad bit painful, but trust me, I'm doing this for the greater cause of humanity and the greater good. Now, I say this with the most compassion that I can hold within my little tiny half beating heart. Just please get in my god darn arms and come home with me you selfish two-toothed prick okay i can drop you off at your little pit stop now buddy you know Okay. Cross time. Cross time. Oh, don't you. I have... I shot it. I have officially caught me. One of these bloody looking... Don't worry, puppy. I'm getting you down. Um. Okay, I don't like the noises that they make. <sighs> we need a platform. I need thatch. <sighs> thatch, fiber, and wood. See, this is what I... I just wanted me a puppy. I just wanted... I just wanted a flock of wolves by my every command and you know I just didn't want to deal with the hassle of owning an entire fleet of of raptors. You you know you know how difficult that gets trying to keep them, you know, under control every waking hour of the day. I mean, it really doesn't matter because I don't really keep them in control. I just want a freaking dog. <laughs> I want the hyena dawn. Couldn't get the hyena dawn. I need a win. Just one. I need a win. I need a mammal companion that feels fluffy and you know, just has murderous intent half of the time. That's awake. That's all I want. I'm gonna fill you up with narcotics. Just stay asleep. I better have some prime meat. You Icarus. Okay, you don't even got the you don't even got the goods. You ain't got no prime really. It's a bird. Your cousins can go eat that bird if they want to. 
And by if they want to, I mean that is a command. Please just eat the birds. I want to make sure I get some extra levels for the amount of work I put into this thing and the amount of tranks I've wasted. And I think prime meat helps it. So I'm going to make sure I fly upwards. That's a saber tooth attacking an RG. You don't see that every day. Make sure the land is clear. There goes some woolies. I really do want them woolies. And, you know, I couldn't get it. Now, as you are following me, but you don't realize is I'm leading you into a very, very, very dangerous trap. Okay, you know it. You know it. I was going to give you a nice and honorable death. But you know it. Screw you. You're getting you're just gonna get killed, okay? I can't properly circle around. Now. Gain distance. Turn. Gain distance. Turn. Gain distance. Gain distance, boy. And final blows. As you can see here in the top of the screen, I, after how many days on the arc? 300 days. I hit this on my 300th day on the arc. Now finally, I'm finally level 100. My last in grand point. Actually, I don't think it's my last because as you can see, my XP is going up. But my last to 100, I think it is fair that I spend it on something valuable. Something precious. Let's go melee. That is it. I have reached level 100. After all the ills that we've taken to today, reaching level 100 right now is my biggest accomplishment. And I feel like I don't know what we should get. Because we get a heavy auto turn. We don't really need one. Titanosaurus don't really spawn on here. And the rest of these uh, I believe are tech engrams, which we get after defeating the boss. And, well, the rest of these, as you can read, you can learn on Genesis 2. Now, I'm going to save my points and just enjoy life. And, I guess, it's just sit next to the tree. It's very, I guess it's a somber note in the game because it's raining. But, pretty much when I came here, several, several, um months ago on this thing i removed all the plants and vegetation in this tree i got rid of all the rocks and all the rocks they're coming back now everything is just coming back to life for some reason on the arc i don't know why but i feel like after pretty much today we need to introduce the world to our newest family member everyone Wolf, there it goes. And actually, nice thing about her is we can ride her. Don't take that out of context. We can ride her without uh, a saddle. We don't need a saddle to ride our dire wolves. Now, even though we weigh a lot, that's probably because we're packing so much crap on this right now. Um, we, we can, uh, we have our we have our dire wolf. We are happy, I feel like. And I think this is a perfect place to officially end the episode. If you like this video, or if you didn't like this video, just stay tuned. I have better videos and crap than this. Uh, please leave a like, please comment, please share, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on all the videos that I do in the future. There are much more art content on this channel, so you can check all those out uh, through like a playlist or in the description. I don't know. I'm tired. It's really late. And uh, I have several art videos that I need to edit and several other videos of games that I need to edit. So I'm going to edit those and then pass out on my bed and wake up the next morning and do this all over again. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Goodbye.